Perhatikan dia lantai. Bagaimana lantai ini dibuat? That was done when people could not really afford carpeting. Waktu itu belum bisa belum ada karpet. Jadi ini harus di di bikin diukir diukir. It was most likely there were no they didn't use a stencil. It was most likely done with a feather. Jadi dibuat dari apa ini? Feather. Dari dari bulu 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 bulu. These the furniture in here. Jadi perabot yang perabot tempat duduk yang ada di sini. They belong to William Miller's youngest daughter, Lucy. Oh, anak yang paling bungsu, Lucy dari William Miller, anak paling bungsu yang punya kursi ini, perabot. The blue chairs did belong to William Miller. Kursi biru itu bil milik dari William Miller. And the organ here was. William Miller's grandson's organ. Ini cucu dari milik dari milik dari cucu William Miller. Ini organ. Ini organ like this. Lampu. Picture. Is that the picture? Oh yes, this is Lucy. Is that Lucy? His wife Lucy. Oh, his wife. His wife Lucy. Eh, dah no. In the story that. And so the view from here was open. Only trees were back over here in the maple grove. So you can imagine. Ma'am. We don't know how many uh, were here at that time. But uh, you can just imagine yes. having a clear view of the Living eastern sky. Yeah. Right. In the study, William Miller's study, you remember that chart on the wall? Right. The chart that a couple of the Millerite early Millerite preachers, ministers that made that chart up was Charles Fitch. Charles Fitch. The other. The other's last name was Hale, and I don't remember his first name. But Charles Fitch was one of maybe as many as of a, uh, as a thousand of Millerite preachers uh, in 1844. And these pastors had gone far and wide preaching the good news that Christ would be coming. And of course, originally, hey, just when it would be, uh, there were others uh, who studied more and uh, decided that the Jewish uh, calendar uh, brought that date down to October 22, 1844. Well, William Miller was very reluctant to accept that. But he did eventually, just a few days, actually about 16 days before October 22, he, he came to the point where he felt that was probably going to happen on that day. But Charles Fitch was one of those who developed that chart. And just uh, about three weeks prior to, to October 22, he went back to his home to be with his family. And when he got there, he found that many had been studying and had accepted the uh, second coming and were looking forward to October 22. And they were requesting baptism. Now, this was over by Lake Erie. Uh, and it was in, the, in October, so you can imagine the water was cold, but they requested baptism. And, they went with him into the water and were baptized and he came back out and uh, walked back toward their home and as he was doing so another group came along and said uh, brother Fitch we want to be baptized and they went back to Lake Erie and he baptized another group of 
believers. Well, this happened three times. The third time, he went back with a group and baptized them. But because of the exposure to the cold waters, he got pneumonia and uh, passed away just eight days prior to, eight, to October 22. Uh, Charles was not very old and he had a young family at home and you can just imagine how that mother and those children felt. On one hand they were very sad, but on the other hand they believed that just eight days from now they would be able to see their father and their husband again. And so you get an idea of just how disappointing it was when it's called the great disappointment. You can understand what a disappointment it was when October 22 came and went and Christ did not come. We'll uh, continue on over to the chapel and from there we can tell you uh, more of the William Miller story and then you can have whatever service you'd like to have okay. there. I was born in 1782. That was just six years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Setelah ditandatangani Declaration of Independence, and George Washington wasn't even the president yet, he had no president, so it was very early. Jadi waktu itu sangat sebab George Washington belum juga menjadi presiden. William Miller was the oldest of six. Jadi Miller Miller adalah yang tertua dari 16 anak yang tertua. He really enjoyed as a child. He enjoyed hearing stories. He wanted to. He learned to read early. Seorang anak yang suka mendengar cerita dan juga belajar waktu dia masih kecil. There were no schools in those days, so his mother taught him. She had three books: the Bible, a prayer book, and. Jadi hanya tiga buku. Waktu itu belum ada banyak buku, jadi hanya tiga buku yang dia selalu pegang, pelajari, yaitu Alkitab, buku buku lagu lagu, dan buku anak cerita. As he got older. Borrowed books from neighbors. Wherever he could get a book, he would get it and start reading. Setelah dia mulai makin dewasa, dia meminjam buku-buku dari tetangga-tetangga dan mulai baca. Eventually, a school did was started nearby, and he started attending. But because of the farm, the work that had to be done, he could only go for three months a year. Jadi waktu itu sudah ada sekolah yang dibuka yang dekat sini dia mulai menghadiri guru di sekolah tapi karena waktu itu dia bekerja sebagai anak petani jadi hanya beberapa kali dalam setahun dia pergi ke sekolah when he was 14 years old he quit going to school because he was jadi waktu umur 14 tahun dia sudah dia berhenti sekolah karena dia lebih pintar dari dari guru yang mana. So he only had 18 months of schooling. That's all he had. Jadi hanya ada 18 bulan saja dia bersekolah dan itu saja dia menghadiri sekolah. When he was eighteen or three, he married a young lady from Oklahoma. Pada tahun 1803, dia menikah dengan seorang wanita dari Vermont yang bernama Lucy Smith.